Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to create a date so it looks like this rather than the date that looks like this. So with my instructions you'll learn how to put the th for the 10th up above the number 10. Let me show you. In Microsoft Word if I was to type in 10th and press space Microsoft Word will automatically do it for me but if I delete this and do it again, then Microsoft Word will not do it for me. The reason being is it thinks that I made a mistake the first time, which is why I deleted it. So the way to do it, I'll show you as an example on this one here, highlight the letters that you want to change. And at the top, you have the X with the number two above it, which is for superscript. And you have the X with the number two below it, which is for subscript. We're going to use the superscript. So click on that button and it's changed it into 10th. I'll show you that again as another example. So I've got this text here, I'm just gonna make it bigger just so we can all see it. Something you do not want to do, you do not want to highlight all of it. If you highlight all of it and you go to superscript, it'll move all of it up to the top. You don't want to do that. So undo that, just Highlight the letters that you want to change. Click on the X2 button, the superscript one, and it'll do it for you. This can be for any date. So once again, type that in again. So I've got the third. Highlight the letters I want to change. Go to X2, and there we have it. And once again, with the first, highlight the letters I want. Go to X2 and it'll do that again. If I've already got some text in there, I'll use this as an example. So I'll delete this. So depending on how you do your date formats, you might have it like this. If I wanted to put TH there, then Microsoft has not changed it for me. Again, if I highlight this, go to the X2 superscript, I can make the change. Hopefully you found this video useful. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep giving you top tech tips on how to use Microsoft Office and other tools.